In this week's video, I make a wheel bleed a funny colour. I rinse some dirt off. I wear some shorts with some flip flops. And fill up a bucket of foam. And welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. Yes, this is a Mini. In the second part of the video, you're going to see the Rover Metro. The reason for this is when I shot this video, the black clouds were looming. And guess what happened? By the time I got to the third wheel, the heavens opened and I got absolutely drenched. Abandoned ship. <laughs> Okay, we've got auto culture products from Rob. We have a hybrid detailer, a six to eight week duration for that longevity, a shampoo, a wheel cleaner stroke fallout remover, a glass cleaner, a snow foam, and we have an all purpose cleaner, an APC. You may have seen this car on the channel numerous times before. It's a friend of ours. It is pretty bogging, I have to say. It's not been cleaned since the last time I did it to my knowledge so we start with the rinsing of the wheel arches these have the dreaded carpet liner wheel arches not a big fan of these yes they're great at um, trapping dirt and that's about it horrible things and those wheels have not seen any cleaning products for quite some time as you can see I always love to rinse my wheels and tires down let me know in the comments section. Let's start the conversation. Do you do it? Do you not? Do you go straight in with the chemicals? First chemical being all-purpose cleaner. Now the ratios to this are one to six. However, I found out later when I did the Metro, well, you see for yourself. Things, things didn't go according to plan. I'm always honest and truthful in my videos. Don't give you a bum steer. So, second hit required for these. Wait for that foam to turn white. And then you're good to go. If you're new to detail, new to car care, the reason we do this is because we want to dress the tires after. There is no point in putting dressings over dirty tires. It's a waste of products. It will not adhere to the surface. Those wheels have seen some curb action. Rather nasty dent in the top. So I've got the wheel cleaner stroke fallout remover. Now I did speak to Rob about this and so I didn't realize this had a fallout remover in it. I'd love manufacturers to state this in the future. However, they are looking to doing a dedicated fallout remover. This of course, getting to work on the iron deposits on the wheel and changing color and yes it does smell it smells of rotten eggs like most of them yes i've jacked the car up what a good idea i got sick and tired of trying to squeeze detailing brushes wheel brushes into the caliper area these have the calipers which are very close to the barrels hence me jacking the car up top tip for you if you want to clean your wheels quickly and lots of you will be sitting there in the comments saying well, take the wheels off. It wasn't in the price. It wasn't a full decontamination of the wheels and these wheels, to be quite honest, a pretty shot. Valet Pro detailing brush or wheel brush. This is a chemical resistant brush. We have loads of Valet products on the shelf for quite some time. If you want to see one of the videos, it is the Porsche video, which was shot quite some time ago. Still playing catch up, playing around with different products, different brands, different reviews. It never stops. So the lug nut areas in particular were pretty nasty on this car, really badly corroded. So what I did find with this brush is particularly floppy. Ugh. Uh, it's not very stiff, but it's switch brushes. 
By this time, I was throwing a drying towel over my camera, over the back of it, to stop it getting wet, because it started to rain. Thanks. So I'm very fortunate that I don't do this for a full-time occupation, and I feel sorry for anybody that does and gets rained off. Here's the kit. So I've loaded up my kit with more stuff than I actually need. Of course, best to go over the top, just in case you need to reach for that extra brush. And we've got the big boy pressure washer. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put it up above. Wow, that's easy, changing cars, yeah. And I've also ordered some new weather for this video. The second part, this is my wife's daily. So, fantastic Rover Metro. However, it is starting to show signs of aging rust appearing under the dreaded wheel arches these are known for it and the lower sill parts have got some rust bubbles appearing on the whole the car is in pretty good nick around about 34,000 miles on the clock now thanks seagull so we're going to treat this with the all-purpose cleaner now, I don't muck about with these videos. I always give truthful opinions and um, you're gonna see the results of this. So the idea of this is to coat the lower parts and the worst parts of the vehicle with the all-purpose cleaner. You can do this with a traffic film remover. You can do it with a citrus product as well. It helps the snow foam. Talking of which, there it is. So around about 150 mil to the 800 mil water line. You can adjust this if you so see fit. You can go for a thicker foam. So using the big boy foam R Lance provides excellent coverage. It's got all different modes on it. Yes, I've said so many times in videos, it is pricey. It's not the cheapest Lance is very very effective and that bottle is flexible so if you drop it it's not going to crack what a contrast in weather got the flip-flops out this week so you're going to want to give this around about five to ten minutes however this was far under that this dropped off the car very very quickly A little bit concerning this because it didn't really have that dwell time. It didn't seem to hang around at all. It just dropped off the car. So I'm gonna move across the panel very slowly so I can make sure I can read the grime. Now the APC should have done the trick, the all-purpose cleaner should have cleaned off the lower parts. It's not caked in grime, but the bird muck took a closer hit just to get rid of it. So although that looks nice and shiny, it's not clean. There you go, there's a swipe test. Doesn't look like there's much on that cloth. If you go back and look at the panel, you can see where it's actual still on the panel. So I up the ante, made it a bit stronger, and reapplied it on the second half of the car, just to see if I can get the good results I was after. So even after this second attempt, I didn't really get the results. It was still showing the surface grime on the car. So I spoke to Rob about it. He reckons I haven't had any issues with it. Maybe I needed it to make it even stronger. But to be honest, I wasn't really impressed with the snow foam either. The snow foam fell off the car and it didn't appear to do anything. Maybe it's my ratios, but I had to take it on face value on the day. It didn't seem to perform. So we move on to the shampoo two to three catfalls in your bucket. You 
you can, of course, put it in a snow foam lance. Highly controversial, apparently. Check out the US detailing channels. Most of those guys will put it in a foam lance. I think it makes for a much better wash experience. This stuff is good. I've got to admit, this stuff is very, very good. It's got just the right amount of lubricity in it and it keeps the foam. Don't ask me what it smells like. Everybody knows I've got no smell of vision. So that was what was left in the bucket. Foam was still in there. And we go for another rinse. Now I've got the vehicle as close to the house as possible because the sun was sweeping around. It wasn't really hot, but then you don't really want to be washing your car in the sun. Unavoidable. If anyone wants to get me a gazebo, comments in the comment section. Hashtag buy me a gazebo. Right onto the glass before we tackle the rest of the car. Now, I always spray it on the cloth, well, nearly always. And yes, I can reach right over the top of the car. I can reach around, but poor choice of words. Um, and it's pretty good stuff. It flashes off, it's good. Do you know why they put that little window in the back of a metro? To stick your Garfield in it, obviously. So things are looking up. The shampoo is good and the glass cleaner is pretty good. Yeah, get that stubborn bit off there. So that's the finish from the shampoo. No watermarks, it leaves a nice slick finish. And my spirits have been lifted. So this is the hybrid detail, a bit of shaking action there. God, I've got strong wrists, I don't know why. Two to three spritz on the panel. Once again, use your noggin if it's blowing, if it's blowing a hoolie, if it's very windy, then apply it to the cloth, then onto the panel. So straight away, I noticed that this was really easy to apply. You're going to want two cloths for this, one to apply, one to remove. Go for a short pile microfiber if you can. It's slick and it does leave a really nice finish. And you will see by the water behavior in a bit, it does the trick. So they reckon six to eight weeks of protection. So you can use these as top ups or you can use them as standalone products. If you don't want to apply a wax or a sealant, Ooh, yes, glossy. Nice one, Paul, you managed to coat the window. Well done. And yes, you can remove it from glass. It's not streaky. No residue. So there's lots of products like this on the market now, the hybrid ranges. You've got your traditional quick detailers to remove uh, thumb prints, finger marks, dust. But these will give you more protection. If you haven't got the time to wash your car once a week or once every couple of weeks, these are great. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll notice that the car had these products on and then at night I was testing waxes. 
there's a new wax out from good old GT Garage Therapy. It will be coming to the channel, but don't worry. Got some stuff from Garage Therapy. I'm playing catch up as ever. Been a busy bee this week and many weeks to come. I seem to be getting busier and busier with work and home life. I'm trying to get these videos out to you guys. What? Speed it up? No, I'm just in a hurry. Here's a fascinating fact about my dodgy legs. I have 30% less circulation in one half of my body. It is on the right. And I have nerve damage in my leg from my dodgy sciatica. And there's the crazy water behavior from the hybrid detailer. On to the product, which isn't by them, obviously. This is CarPro Pearl. This is one of my favorite dressing products, and it is great for engine bays. So if you use this neat, you're gonna expect lots of gloss. Glossy tires aren't to everybody's taste, but you can dilute this product. It is a water-based product, and it does seem to last. And there you have it, that was the finished article. One happy wife. So my thanks to Autoculture, they have given me some updates on the products. They're gonna be sending down some more for me to review. Meanwhile, you can enjoy all the end shots. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you're subscribed. Click the notification bell for all the up and coming videos. And thanks for being patient with the videos, guys. Take care now. Ta-da!